Welcome to Off-Grid Contracting. Guys, in this part of this renovation, uh, we're going to show you the solar system that we've installed and upgraded. Um, the property does have a solar system that was already in place and a solar tracker mount. And then we added this fixed array that's south-facing um, to the system that's already pre-existing. So I'm going to take you step-by-step step how we started this and uh, hope you enjoy it. Alright guys, now what we have right here um, is the original solar array that is on top of the roof and also on the top of pole mount that is um, solar tracking, uh, linear actuated and everything. Uh, part of these actually feeds a water system um, in the back that you can see here in part three where I renovated that as well. Uh, but right here, this solar feeding into the house it uh, comes pretty much over and then just right up uh, through the, the car. And then we've got the new solar feed you can see coming in right there, going through over to the uh, roof of this little awning right out here. And these are eight of the synthesis panels. You can see right there how we've got that all mounted up and everything. Um, and now that is the secondary array feeding in, uh, which I'll show you indoors here in just a second. On my way in, guys, uh, just a reminder, if you want to see this water system, you can check it right there in part two um, and see how that works. Uh, keep in mind, that's going to be foam wrapped as well. Uh, the original 24 volt that was available for a pumping system, we actually kept that off so that it can be used for an aerator for the fish system. That's going to be... Uh, installed later but as you can see right here here is the battery bank and now the originally this is the loads terminal and everything that the outback and this antrex oil was hooked to now what you see before you is the otg boards that we've been fabricating um, in our wiring shop here in tennessee this is the otg um, 2.0 you can see right there it's filling her up uh, is almost a 2k earlier and you could hear the turbo running hardcore um long story short this right here uh the new setup we're doing it's a lot more cost effective give you a lot more breaker slots um and just contact us for more info we can custom fabricate that for you ship that right to your doorstep um so the battery bank set up in 24 volt and now this is one of the older trace inverters that it was 120 volt only um, you can see there, there's our new service access coming in, going up to the OTG 2.0 uh, on the midnight. And there was their grounds originally going down. And now the solar's feeding the water system uh, now. And we've got the wiring, the 24 volt, there's where it was going out, the access uh, away from it. So they can hand pump, they can use the uh, main pump, which is the bird cam now. Um, there's no reason for them to not have water backups for their backups got two independent solar systems going to the same battery bank so got backups for that as well and uh i gotta tell you guys we're going to probably look into using uh these batteries for some heavy duty systems um right here we go i'm firing up again you can see right there using some power and keep in mind the other charge controller is, is going as well so definitely those panels make power uh, and, and anyway these batteries get you some info on that right there uh, definitely start using those for future installs they done an exceptional job uh, took a shower last night the power running the pump which was also running my plumbing and uh, had a wonderfully warm shower last night and cleaned up um, and from the rain that was catched off the roof so can't beat that but anyway that is the in a nutshell this is the renovation. This was the original. And here's the renovation where we added in and then added all the additional solar. So definitely, uh, definitely making power now and 100%, uh, roughly 100% offset on any usage. All right guys, so at this point you can see the system is finished. Um, later the customer is going to be upgrading this to a Magna. Um, also going to have a transfer put in so they will have the option for utility or generator feed. Uh, dual application to feed into the panel that's over here on the wall right now current. Um, anytime you're renovating a system, just FYI, um, thankfully a lot of these uh, former systems, you know, you have it where you can just pull the main disconnect, cut that off, 
Um, but you know, anytime you're doing stuff like this, you're, whether you have a professional come out or you're going to do it yourself, just make sure to power every single thing down. And because um, I mean, high voltage can kill you, but you know, when it comes to battery banks, 24 volt or 48 volts just going to make you mad if you get zapped by it. But uh, all in all, charge controller today. This is this has been on the wall now for a couple days. It the system, it's definitely charged up full. And uh, we're making more power than we're taking, and that's ideal for living off grid because you, uh, your only hope of utility is your off grid power system at that point. Um, and any questions you have about this, if you're looking to go off grid or if you've got something that you want to renovate, we'll be glad to do it for you. Make sure to contact us at offgridcontracting.com. Also, make sure to check out the other videos that we've done on this renovation. And until we see you again, I look forward to working for you.